Hey y'all, welcome back to The Burrow. I'm Hillary, your resident fragrance loving muggle. So most of y'all know I'm a little bit of a Harry Potter fanatic. Um, even just the name of my channel, The Burrow, is referencing the Weasley's family home. So I'm obviously pretty stoked to be bringing you guys a Harry Potter video today. I'm gonna be assigning two fragrances each to the four houses of Hogwarts. So whether you are a Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw, I've got something for you. So if you wanna hear what they are, stay tuned. When I call your name, you will come forth. I shall place the sorting hat on your head and you will be sorted into your houses. Hermione Granger. Oh no. Okay, relax. Mental, that one. I'm telling you. Ah, right then. Mm, right. Okay. Gryffindor! So first up, I have Gryffindor. Now, Gryffindors are known for courage, bravery, chivalry, and nerve, and they're represented by the lion. So, I basically had to go with Roaring Radcliffe by Penhaligans. This fragrance has notes of tobacco, rum, honey, beeswax, cinnamon, tonka, leather, all of these beautiful, rich, um, resinous notes. And this fragrance is cozy. It's kind of similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, but I would say it's a bit smoother. The projection um, and longevity, a bit subpar, but it just smells classy and sophisticated to me. I love the honey in here, like the honeyed and tobacco. It is just so rich and calming. And I could totally see somebody wearing this if they were gonna be sitting in one of those armchairs in front of the fire in the common room. Um, this is just a nice, cozy fragrance. And um, it just, obviously, it has a lion's head on top. It had to be a, a fragrance for a Gryffindor. Okay, let's go to the next one. So the second fragrance that I have for Gryffindor is Guerlain's Tonka Imperial. Now this fragrance definitely reminds me of something that you would find in Mrs. Weasley's kitchen. It kind of reminds me of if you've just pulled out ginger snap cookies from the oven. Um, it is just so sweet and decadent, um, but there's also a little bit of spice. This has Tonka, almonds, um, tobacco, incense, rosemary, and it is just so beautiful. This is the fragrance that I wore all November and December long. Like to me, this just reminds me of Christmas, um, which is obviously a big thing at Hogwarts, you know, especially in the Gryffindor common room. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, this is just a fragrance that I could absolutely see one of the Weasleys wearing. That's Guerlain's Tonka Imperial. So next up, we have the House of Hufflepuff, like yours truly. Um, Hufflepuffs are known for hard work, patience, justice, and loyalty. Um, they're also known to be the most inclusive of the houses. So, you know, when Slytherin would not accept um, Muggle-born children, Hufflepuff didn't care, she took them all. So the first fragrance I have is Mika Loves Ylang-Ying Gold. So not only is this yellow, like, you know, Hufflepuff, um, but it also has notes of Vanilla, ylang, and coconut, those are the main things that I smell in this. And it just makes me think of a warm hug. Um, this is kind of a more tropical feeling hug. That's a weird sentence. But yeah, this is a bit more tropical feeling, but it's very cozy, it's very comforting. And I think this is just perfect for Huffly Puffs like me. So next for Hufflepuff, we have Atelier de Zor's Cordesange. I'm sure I've messed up that name, but well, I tried. So not only is this one also yellow, um, it has gold flakes floating around inside of it, just like their hearts of gold that those Hufflepuffs have. So I was basing this fragrance on the hard work um, aspect of being a Hufflepuff. And I feel like people who work hard oftentimes need a fresh fragrance. But Hufflepuffs are so unique because they're all inclusive, so this is a more unique, fresh fragrance. Um, this fragrance has notes of blood orange, hair, honey, um, osmanthus, but it really smells like a giant glass of orange juice that you've sweetened with honey. Oh, it's so good. It, and that honey seems to add a depth to the scent, so it's not just kind of bright orange juice, it's just this beautiful, rich, fresh fragrance, which is really not common for, you know, most freshies on the market. This is so beautiful and uh, it's kind of, oh, it also has amber in it. 
and I think that just adds to that whole um, warm nuance that it has to it. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance and perfect for a Hufflepuff. So next up we have Ravenclaw and they're known for intelligence, creativity, learning, and wit. So I was trying to find a very creative fragrance and immediately when I think of creativity, I think of the House of Zoologist and also I needed blue. <laughs> so that brought me directly to Zoologist Squid and you can see just how blue the juice itself is. Now this fragrance is so creative. It is resinous and inky and salty and it has a bit of spice and some pepper in there. This fragrance is just so unique, again, so creative. And this is definitely something that one of those Ravenclaws who's like up there studying would just kind of randomly come up with. And it's just so different than anything else I've smelled. So I think this is perfect, not only because of the color of the juice or the smell, the creativity behind it in general, but also because the little squid is wearing a uh, mage's hat. So yeah. <laughs> So our next fragrance for Ravenclaw is from the House of Centauri, and that is Proxima. Now, not only does this bottle look perfect for Ravenclaw, but um, the fragrance inside is too. So Ravenclaws are known for intelligence and learning. So people who are learning have to study. They're constantly in the library. This fragrance smells like a fancy magical energy drink that they might be drinking while they're staying up studying in the library. It's fizzy, like it is straight up bubbly on my skin. And that um, effervescence lasts the entire life of the fragrance. It has this beautiful um, strawberry note. Um, it's kind of black currant when you first spray it, but then it melds into this strawberry bubbliness. And um, it is just gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of back in the day, we used to have those twist off uh, drink things, like the drink mixes, and the powder would just kind of float up. And it reminds me of the smell of the powder in those, um, in those drink mixes. So yeah, that is Centauri's Proxima for Ravenclaw. I really wish that I was drinking pumpkin juice or butter beer or gilly water or fire whiskey, but I don't have any, so I'll just stick with beer. Okay, so last but not least, we have Slytherin. And Slytherins are known for ambition, cunning, and resourcefulness. Now, when I saw resourcefulness, I immediately thought of a tot Libre de Rage's Le Fleur du Duché. Now, I'm certain I've completely messed up that name, um, but it's good that I can just call it I Am Trash. <laughs> so, um, this fragrance is called I Am Trash because it is actually the first upcycled fragrance. Um, obviously, super resourceful. They took, um, they took different ingredients from the fragrance industry and the culinary industry and repurposed them and reprocessed them and turned them back into new fragrance oils. So that's how we got I Am Trash. This fragrance is fresh. It smells kind of of crisp apples and a little bit of strawberry and it has some molecules in there that just keep you fresh feeling all day. Definitely crisp and cool. Um, absolutely perfect for a resourceful individual. So we all know that Slytherins are represented by the serpent. So for my last fragrance for Slytherin, I've chosen Stephen Humbert Lucas 777 Mortal Skin. Now this fragrance has notes of blackberry, ink, incense, myrrh, apopanax, iris, all of these beautiful, rich, mysterious notes. But somehow it still retains a bit of a freshness. Like you could almost wear this to the office and I don't think you would offend anyone. Although it is a little bit complex, I don't think it's offensive in any way. Um, it is so dark and sensual. It is just so unique. What a beautiful, a beautiful fragrance. The inkiness especially, I think, I think it's really more like the way that the berry is probably playing with the resins, but it just kind of makes us feel thick and kind of sticky. Absolutely gorgeous. And the bottle itself would be good enough to win over the heart of almost any Slytherin out there. So those are my fragrances for the Harry Potter houses. What do you guys think? Um, are there any fragrances that you would add? Um, definitely let me know in the discussion below. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll be coming at you guys again with another list or fragrance video, something fun again here soon. Bye.